everyone, Morgan from Mirror Edge Networks, and you're joining me today at the Trimoff booth at ISC 2024. Um, I'm here with David Mayowitz, and we have just experienced the Trimoff waveforming demonstration. And I'm going to ask David to go into a bit more detail about what waveforming is and room pressurization. Yeah, hi Morgan, pleasure. Thanks for coming by. Um, so we've introduced our waveforming technology at the show this uh, last year. Um, but we've added an extra mode to it. So, um, in essence, waveforming is Trinov's active acoustic technology. So, what we're able to do is actually remove the, uh, the room response and the uh, modal response of the room. So, in essence, every seat gets the same SPL of bass. So, from 100 hertz downwards, we're within plus or minus 2 dB at every seating position. Now, we have uh, eight subs in the front and we have six in the back. And the really important thing to remember about waveforming, unlike uh, other technologies such as double base arrays is that all of our subs are in phase. So the benefit of that is that we can use both sets of subs as either emitters or absorbers. Okay, so we can make them multifunctional. And the benefit of doing that is we can then move into our pressurization mode. So at the lowest room mode, which in there is 23 hertz, we change over to uh, all 14 subwoofers to pressurize the room. We're getting down flat to about eight hertz in that room, so that's quite a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, yeah, that's what we brought to the show. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, the demo was absolutely unbelievable. Um, you know, it's notable when there's a demonstration that uh, you know Ratatouille, the grandma, is busy shooting at the mice, and it's a demonstration I can remember giving at a previous company, you know, 17 odd years ago when that movie was on circuit. But it was completely reimagined. You know, there was uh, low pressure in the room that I had kind of had a bit of an idea about yeah. but never ever, ever experienced it and I think that just really gives a testament to the fact that the way that the uh, uh, active, the room is being actively worked yeah. with uh, can give a new possibility to how the base is it, reveal, it reveals a huge amount of detail and depth you yeah. know in, in that gunshot the big one at the end before all the rats fall out of the ceiling yeah. it goes on for ages yeah. there's, there's still some sort of uh, single digit like 5-6 hertz going on um, way after the gunshots happened and you really feel that in the room. Yeah. I think also one that's really quite interesting, uh, we've been playing uh, Tiesto's Boom yes. as well yeah. um, and we're able to turn that up really loud so we're playing that to about 120 dB for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Um, what we're asking the customers to do is listen to the cleanliness of the bass yeah. because something like Greater Showman, um, it can be perceived as being a little bit overblown and a bit bloated. Yeah. And we're showing that that is the uh, the mix and not the speaker and room system that we have here. So we play it really loud, really punchy, and uh, everyone is absolutely blown away by it. So yeah, we're really yeah, I think, happy. I mean, I was very fortunate that I managed to come into the demo twice. Yep. And uh, you know, there's just a stunned silence at the end because it's unlike anything I've ever experienced before. And uh, yeah, it's. If you have the opportunity to experience it, to implement it, uh, it's almost like we should be working towards, or I suppose that's the real uh, actual, we should be working to implement these sorts of solutions for customers. When, yeah, when we absolutely can. should. And you know, this type of solution really puts um, the control back into your hands as an integrator. You're able to specify a system that you know is going to work, you can quantify the performance level. Yeah. Regarding the number of subs that you need, if you want to go higher in frequency, then you need more subs. Yep. If you're happy with 80 hertz or below, then we, you can get away with four subs yep. yeah, in correct position. So it's really a very, very flexible technology and gives you guys a lot of power to engineer systems to be uh, at the highest performance possible. Of course, yeah. Yep. Cool. So thank you very much for the demos. They were brilliant. And uh, yeah, really, this was a highlight for the show. You know, uh, it's obviously coming from Cape Town. It takes a lot for us to get to IC every Absolutely. year. Um, and this was, you know, the first thing that we came to. Um, and you know, knowing that obviously there's there's another element to coming for a Toronto demo. It's the community, it's the team, it's the family type atmosphere. Um, but it really does showcase the technology is being pushed forwards. Yeah. And I think you know a lot of people are resting on their laurels. And I know that the team behind Toronto are always pushing the boundaries in terms of moving forwards. Yeah, we we. we we have a lot more to come. This technology will keep us busy for the next 10 years. So you're going to see more iterations. You know, we've got some exciting stuff coming out with relation to infrasonics as well. So we've got a lot more to do. So yeah, we're going to keep innovating. That's what we do. Yeah, thank you. Cool. Thanks very much. Thanks, Morgan. So that's been a bit of the introduction to waveforming and room pressurization. As I said, the team here at Trinov have just been absolutely incredible. I can't thank them enough for putting such an incredible demonstration together. It takes a lot 
you know, as a as a company to come out here multiple days before the show to put this all together to demonstrate, you know, 25 odd times per day for four days straight, um, and then of of course, you know, we go home, we go onwards beyond the show, and they still have to take this down, pack up everything, and get back to where they've where they've come from. So, you know, massive shout out and thank you very much to all of them. And uh, you know, as always, uh, Trinov is a great company, a great brand, and it's something that we've worked with extensively in the past back in South Africa. If you would like to know more about Trinov or are looking for Trinov-based solutions for your projects, please reach out to me. Um, we are always looking for more opportunities to work with the company and showcase what is possible in your own house. Um, contact details will be in the description of this video below, and we can't wait to discuss uh, Trinov's solution for you moving forwards.